Good morning, congregation. This is Pastor Dan, uh, and I welcome you to our service for this week. Um, yeah, if you are joining us for the first time, this is Athens Christian Reformed Church Online, uh, coming to you from uh, the beautiful village of Athens, Ontario, which is uh, in the eastern part of uh, this great province. I have a couple of announcements for you this morning. Uh, one is that uh, you will notice perhaps that I am missing something this week, and uh, I hope it is not too much of a distraction, but I lost uh, a tooth this week and uh, hope to get that uh, repaired or fixed or replaced or whatever in the coming weeks. But in the meantime, you may have a uh, pastor missing a tooth for a little while. I uh, was told uh, by the dentist that I should come up with a more interesting story than the one that I actually have. And uh, so I thought I would maybe tell you that I was battling a heretic and that heretic popped me in the mouth. But that's just not true. Uh, the truth is, is that I was simply trying to uh, plan out where we might sit when we come back to church uh, and maintain social distancing. And I was biting tape and my tooth broke off. I know, not exciting, but there it is. Uh, which brings us to the second announcement, and that is that we will be, uh, Lord willing, heading back to church on September the 13th. Now, we can only have 50 people in the church at a time, and so you will need to RSVP to share your desire to come to this service. You'll need to RSVP with uh, both your desire to come and how many people you would like to bring with you. Uh, that way we can make sure that there uh, is enough appropriate seating for people and that everyone maintains that proper social distancing. So you can RSVP to RSVP at AthensCRC.org, uh, that email address, at RSVP at AthensCRC.org. Uh, and if you do so, that would be great. We can know then how many people are coming. We are currently planning for one service at 10.30 in the morning on, on Sunday, uh, September the 13th. Uh, but if, if we get uh, lots of interest, uh, then we will uh, add another service. And for those of you who will be staying at home, never fear. We will uh, hopefully, Lord willing, have also the online service available as well. Uh, so you will not be left out in the cold for that. I should let you know, though, that because of COVID-19 restrictions, our service will look a little bit different. We will have uh, no singing. We are looking at perhaps uh, having a worship leader who can sing from the front from an appropriate distance uh, and everyone else can hum along. Uh, or we're looking at using uh, litanies uh, where I would read, say, for example, the first uh, line of a song and the congregation would read the next line back to us. Um, I know that's not the same as singing, but it is, uh, it is the best we can do at this point. We will also have various protocols in place for the service. So there will be, uh, there will be markings uh, indicating where you can stand to stand in line. Uh, we would ask that people uh, park carefully and be aware of their surroundings and not come out in a way that crowds people or, or pushes people together uh, and, uh, you know, violates that, uh, that six-foot, two-meter bubble. Uh, we will also hopefully have volunteers to help guide people and show people how things work. Uh, and more information will be coming out via email and uh, also for those of you who may not have email, who are seeing this service on DVD, uh, there will also be hopefully a phone call to you uh, to make things clear as well. 
So you should hear more about that uh, in the coming days. The RSVP deadline is September the 1st. Now I know that's almost two weeks before the actual service, but we need that time to sort of get an idea for how many people want to come, to add the second service if we need to, to recruit whatever volunteers we need to, and so on. Speaking of volunteers, if you are interested and or willing to volunteer to help out in uh, any way for our coming back together for worship services, you can always get a hold of uh, me or you can mention in your RSVP email or in your phone call that you would like to help out however you can, and that would be greatly appreciated. We will uh, probably need some folks to help with ushering and doing check-in for people, and we will maybe need some folks to help with sanitizing uh, various surfaces after the church service, particularly if we're going to have two services, we may need uh, some folks to sanitize some services, surfaces in between those two services. So uh, if you are willing or able, willing and able, I guess, to volunteer for that, please uh, let us know. Uh, you can contact me or you can, like I said, uh, let us know through the RSVP email. Those are, I believe, all the announcements that I need to make at this particular time. And uh, so, uh, yeah, I'm excited to get into part nine of our series on the nature and character of God. Today, we are going to be talking about God's patience his generosity, and uh, his wisdom. And so we will look at that. No, not his wisdom, sorry, his humility. Excuse me. I was looking back uh, at an earlier sermon. So we are looking at God's patience, his generosity, and his humility. Now, receive God's greeting. May our patient, generous, and humble God welcome you into this place wherever you are. May you receive his blessing and feel his presence, and may he illuminate your hearts and minds through scripture and singing and all that we do together so that you may be encouraged in the mission of God in your life. In the name of the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit, amen. Amen. Let us join together in singing to our God. 